We've got five main senses um, and the brain deals with each of those in a separate area. So when you hear something, it goes and gets processed there. The brain then deals with it and it tells you what you're hearing. Um, with me, when I hear something, there's a signal gets sent to the taste part of my brain. And so it automatically produces a taste. So every sound produces a taste. We just heard a train go past there. That produced a very strong taste of rhubarb right in the corner of my mouth. Um, and with word sounds, it's more pronounced. The word sounds produce very, very strong synesthetic flavours. But, as I said, all sound does it. Your voice does it. Um, interestingly, you taste like uh, chocolate and cream mixed in with a bit of cake. So the tastes are quite complicated and they never ever change. You know, if I meet you in 30 years time, if I'm still here in 30 years time, you'll still taste of chocolate. I first noticed that I was tasting things when I was aged four and a half. Um, I used to go to school on the Tube, on the London Underground, and I can always remember going down into a noisy Tube station with all the smells and the sound, and I always used to get a taste whenever a train came through. I was learning to read and write at the time. I was only four years old. Uh, and what I used to do was write down the station names as we went through them on the way to school. And I also used to write down the taste of them because I used to get a taste. And I was only a child. And I've actually got these notebooks going back to 1965. I'll tell you what was confusing. I remember back in 1969, London Transport put this blue one in, this blue line here, the Victoria line. I think it was in 1969. But I remember at the time, travelling on the underground, and what it did was it messed up my sequence of tastes because there was extra stations in there. So I found it very confusing and it took a lot of getting used to. So whenever they change a station or take a station out, it confuses me. Don't have that bit, it's irrelevant. I, I dream in taste, so I'm bound to wake up in the morning either feeling hungry or I've just got a stomach ache. Quite nasty downsides of my synesthesia that my brain thinks I'm eating constantly. So it always pumps stomach acid down to get rid of the food and there's no food there and that gives me stomach aches. So essentially when I get up in the mornings, that's what I would start with. Um, I can read a newspaper, I don't do it so often now because reading really sets it off. It makes it go mad because the, the word, word sounds. The, the reason why I get synesthesia from reading is because when I look at the words, like you probably do, I read them to myself in my head. That's what causes the synesthetic taste to come when I hear them in my head. Yeah. 
When I was a journalist, I used to uh, compose stories, mainly because the stories were boring. Um, but what I used to do was, I used to create the intro section using starter tastes and flavours. I would then work on the main body of the article, which is down to there, and those words would all be main course meal flavours. And then the conclusion, which is the end bit here, I would use um, sweet tastes such as puddings and, and the like. So reading through the entire article, it would be like an entire meal, a three course meal for me. Um, and I used to get a real kick out of doing that because nobody else knew I was doing it. Station is Dollis Hill. Doors will open on the right hand side. This station is Dollis Hill. This train terminates at North Bridge. Do I miss it? Not really, it's just a valuable part. I enjoy coming back here. Um, I think one of the differences, I haven't been to Dollis Hill in 15 years. Uh, the last time I came here, the first thing that struck me was that it was noisier back then. It's quiet now, and that makes a difference to the flavours. Um, the area's changed a bit because there's been new buildings put up. That's changed the flavours, so it's slightly different. I mean, hopefully we'll get to visit that and I can tell you what I mean. Um, I can point these things out, but... To answer your question, do I miss it? No, I don't, but it's, uh, it's a comfort food and I really, really enjoy going back there. See, I can remember this shop from uh, my childhood. We used to come out of here, my, me and my mother, and we used to pass it. Now, the interesting thing is, that used to taste of bananas to me. It still does. But I can't see why. And then I got shown a photograph once, and it had the number 290 up on the wall there. 290 tastes of bananas. So that's where I got the banana taste from. The other big thing I noticed is to the left of the Dollis Hill station there, that used to taste quite similar to that side there. So I'm assuming there used to be a house like that there. And I bet you there was, because it tastes of some kind of icing sugar and also Yorkshire pudding for some reason. Well, I think that's because there was arches. So, so there used to be an arch building there and I haven't been here. I, I've not looked at that since I was six years old, but the tastes are still there of icing on that side. So and like, now, for now, it's like a mixture of different tastes? Yeah, it's, it's like having... I can see my map of what I expect here, and then something's gone over the top and it's not the same. That's not the same, and that doesn't taste the same, and that doesn't taste the same. That does, though. And the whole underground tastes the same too. This all tastes the same as well, which is where I used to live. That was my bedroom up there. But one of the things that is very important to me are the presence of places like Dollis Hill, um, my old school, the house in Chapter Road, because that was when I first started having these and writing these things down. Um, and I've got written proof that this goes back 50, 50 or so years, 60 years even, nearly. Um, that to me is very important because it validates the whole thing. It makes it seem real to me and it's not a memory thing. Why at the age of four would I be doing memory tricks? I mean, it's just nuts. It's... So all of this, going back to this place, is why, why I've agreed to do it because it's so important to me. I love it, it's, it's where it all began. <laughs> 